Hello. So this video is going to be about um, how to train your inner voice to be more constructive rather than destructive. So this video is for people who struggle with an inner voice that's like critical, very judgmental, um, basically like you're your own worst enemy kind of thing or you're standing in your own way, um, that kind of stuff. So. So the idea is to make your inner monologue or your inner voice to be your best friend, like a good best friend. Um, and so what I'm going to explain is a way of how to, how to train uh, your inner voice to um, be more supportive, more compassionate, and um, more constructive so that it gives you like healthy feedback uh, all the time and is not something that knocks you down. So one of the first steps here is to become aware of what your inner monologue is. So this might take some practice meditating, uh, like slowing down, really like listening to your thoughts if you're not used to doing that, um, and being aware of how you talk to yourself. So everybody has a way of talking to themselves, like not out loud, or like in their head. I mean, maybe not everybody, but a lot of people do. Um, so as you're talking to yourself, see if you can notice how you talk to yourself. What language do you use? Um, is it supportive? Uh, is it critical? Are you using like swear words at yourself? Like, um, you know, what's the voice like? And, uh, and this can be kind of shocking if you're not used to paying attention to it. Because um, a lot of times we just sort of take that for granted because that's just what we've grown up with and we're used to it. The voice sort of grew over time like we did and didn't really pay much attention to it. Um, so, so getting, paying, like registering what you, how you talk to yourself and what your inner voice is like um, is the first step. Uh, and then the next step is to ask yourself, did this come from somewhere? Did this voice, does this way that I speak to myself, is it similar to how someone else has spoken to me in the past? Did I somehow integrate or copy or repeat now the way that someone else has spoken to me? So that's something that can happen. If someone's spoken to you a certain way, then you're likely to start to speak to yourself in the same way. Um, so being able to to just kind of do a little bit of tracing with it and notice if you're reminded of anything from the past. That can be kind of a big insight. Um, and that's something that uh, there could be some emotional processing around that. Like once you notice, okay, yeah, this totally reminds me of the way this person used to talk to me. Um, you know, then, you know, it kind of shows you, yeah, they had an impact on your life if you carried that with you. Um, but noticing it is the first step to freedom and not having to keep repeating the pattern. Um, so now the next step is being able to teach yourself to not speak to yourself that way. So every time you notice a critical or judgmental or mean uh, way of addressing yourself, then, then this is what I suggest, is that you, you say, hold on. Like stop right there and then um, ask yourself am I trying to give myself feedback or communicate some message is there some is there something I'm wanting to like in a, some twisted way help myself with right now or is there something that um, I'm trying to like push myself to do that would actually be good for me or you know what 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 message is my inner voice delivering to me right now like is there anything constructive hiding behind a destructive message? Um, or am I just like not in a good mood right now or not feeling good and then that's why I'm speaking to myself that way? Um, so doing a little bit of like, uh, you know, checking in with yourself to see what, what, is, what is underneath that voice. Um, and then one way that I've worked on this is I would think of because of my experience with ice skating and I've had a lot of coaches in my life so and also teachers. So I would say is so I would notice is this how, you know, a, a bad teacher or a bad coach or a mean coach might give some kind of feedback um, in a destructive way rather than being constructive. Uh, so then I would say, well, okay, so this is what I'm saying to myself. 
how could I say this in a constructive way so that it would actually like feel good um, to hear and it would feel supportive and encouraging um, and make me feel more motivated. So um, so that's like a super good challenge. You notice, okay, this is how I, I originally would deliver the message. So hang on a second. I'm not going to talk to myself that way. How would a, a good coach or a good teacher speak? Or how would a, just a supportive person speak and communicate it? So, and then you practice, you know, saying it to yourself in that more supportive or caring way. And so that, you know, that sounds fine. That doesn't sound too difficult, but... What's important is that you practice this all the time. So every single time you notice that you're being critical or judgmental of yourself uh, or not addressing yourself in a kind and gentle way, you have to stop the way, you have to stop your mind right there and do the steps and like help yourself change what you're saying to a more positive, gentle, supportive voice um, with a different word choice that is positive and supportive. Um, and it makes a huge difference over time if you practice it every single time. And then like over time, you become your best friend or you, you become a supportive person to yourself. And then it starts to happen automatically. And then you don't have to make yourself do it um, every time because you're already doing it. You're already like beginning to have this inner voice that's kind and like wants you to feel comfortable and like wants to help support your growth in a positive and constructive way. Um, so it really does work. It just takes practice. It takes, and it also takes like just making, you know, patience because every single time it happens, you just have to keep addressing it and just keep addressing it every single time. Um, you know, it's one thing about practice is that like, it can feel very frustrating and, and irritating and the progress might feel really slow. But if you just keep doing it each time, each time, it makes a difference over a long period of time. Um, I've come so far in that area because of practicing it and just being really attentive. You know, every single time, just noticing how am I addressing myself? Am I speaking like I would to someone I care about? You know, right? Because this is also about developing uh, self-love too, is speaking to yourself in kind ways um, is a really good way to work on self-love. Uh, so I really, I really suggest it to people if it's something that you struggle with. Um, thank you for listening to this video. I hope everybody's doing well.